Here we go, they're coming forward. Just at a bit of a canter there, they'll have to turn. Ambwa Alain breaking ranks. Moving to the outside under Rachel Blackmore. Could be a bit of pace on here, potentially. This time, and they're off for the My Pension Expert Melling Chase. Grade one action coming up, and Conflated is the first to bound into the lead over fence number one from Envoi Alain out wide of John Bon. All in a line here with Pick Dory, and also right there too is Protectorat. Minanella Drama and the Red and Yellow Stars, and the only one out of it early on, and just watching on, watching the action up ahead is Easy Game, as they landed over the second. The third is an open ditch. And conflated from Pick Dory. Pick Dory often makes a running. Manella Drama on the outside. Protectorat ridden very forward at Cheltenham is handy on the inside. John Bon in the green and yellow hoops. Then Envoi Hélène and Easy Game. Over the last in the back straight. And now they approach the left hand turn, which will take them towards the cross fence. And it's conflated by three quarters of a length to pick Dory in second place. In third is Manella Drama, John Bon in fourth, Protector and in fifth, and then two or three lengths away to Envoi Allen and Easy Game. On towards this next fence. Conflated jumping it well from Pick Dory, also very adept there. Manila Drama, John Bon up in distance today, and then on the inside, Protectorate, two and a half lengths or so back to Envoi Allen and Easy Game. Turning into the home straight and on towards fences six, seven, and eight. Conflated on the inside of Pig Dory. Followed by Manella Drama out wide. John Bond taking a lead just in behind Pig Dory. Right up the inside, Harry Skelton on Protectorat. Then Envoi Ellen, second last, an easy game. This is an open ditch. And easy game just made a slight mistake at the back of the field. Long run between the second last and final fence in the home straight. Over a circuit to go, conflated by a couple of lengths to pick Dory, winner of this last year. On the inside, Protectorat, out wide Manella Drama. John Bond close up, jumped well there, John Bond. Four or five lengths away to Envoi Allen, and another couple of lengths or so to Easy Game. A circuit left to travel in this intriguing great one encounter and conflated leading the way by two and a half lengths to pick Dory, who hasn't had his own way today at all. Then on the inside is Protectorat, John Bond close up, Manella Drama, the outside of the field, probably just third now. A couple of lengths to Envoi Allen and a growing gap to easy game at this stage of the race. So they come to the end of a circuit and the four fences now down the back straight. Conflated has made it all so far with Pick Dory for company and they're almost together here. Absolutely in the air together. Manila Drama out wide. John Bond on the inside protect rack going the shortest way round then Envoi Hélène in easy game is struggling. On towards the next. Conflated and Pick Dory. They're going to be stride for stride again going into this one. John Bond just flicked through the top there. At the back, easy game looks likely to be pulled up by Paul Townend. On towards an open ditch, conflated coming into it with Pick Dory. There's about a, a neck or a head between them. Manella Drama still handy on the outside. Protectorat right round the inside under Harry Skelton. John Bond breathing down their necks and then Envoi Hélène, the last in the back straight. And uh, the remaining... The remaining six runners covered by about four lengths and easy game has been pulled up as they now exit the back straight once again. They've got four fences left to jump, conflated by a neck to pick Dory. Manella Drama running a big race on the outside, racing a little wide. Then John Bomb, Protectorat right round the inside and finally waited with Envoi Hélène as they jump four out. Envoi Hélène went through the top there, hit that. As they now head towards the home straight, Envoi Hélène immediately pushed along. Conflated still shows the way. Pick Dory just niggled a bit in second. Protectorat on the inside goes well. Who too does John Bon as they run towards the third last. Conflated, Pick Dory. Here's John Bon away to the left and Protectorat over on the far side as they jump three out. Pick Dory just went 
through it there, conflated, followed by John Bon, who's just holding in Protectorat as they run towards the final open ditch, the second last. Conflated still leads. Here comes John Bon challenging on the outside. Protectorat over in third. A gap to Envoi Allen, who's trying to fight back. Pick Dory well beaten, so too Menela Drama, but Conflated has led all the way, and now push comes to shove on John Bon in second. Protectorat is running on Dooley, and then Envoi Allen, and John Bon is getting closer to Conflated, but so too is Protectorate charging down the outside. The final fence, John Bon picks up just ahead of Conflated, who's trying to fight back on the run for home. John Bon into unknown territory. He's staying it out well from Conflated and Protectorate, and up towards the line, John Bon wins again at Aintree from Conflated in second, Protectorate in third, a long back gap then to Envoi Allen in fourth and pulling up both Manella Drama and Pig Dory. Well, I've been looking forward to the Melling Chase all day and I imagine that everybody else around here was. It looked like it was going to be a fantastic race on paper. It has not disappointed. Nick de Boinville has won it on John Bon. I can't imagine how satisfying that must be. Incredibly satisfying. Um, there have been question marks against him throughout the season. Um, and it was a bit cat and mouse early doors. Everyone was trying to get an early position. You had to be brave and mm. to be fair, he found every single stride and um, we slotted in nicely and uh, I thought he stuck it out all the way. It was a huge test for him, this. It was on that ground, I thought, um, and he proved that he can do it. Well, he's opened doors as well for a different campaign next season. Well, exactly. I've just been asked if he'd get three miles. So, uh, you know, that's, it, it's an interesting, it's, it's interesting. You know, there are lots of options and they've got the whole summer to think about it. And he looked, I mean, he, he looked as though he was not happy prior to the Clarence House in himself. He'd been in a holding pattern, hadn't he, for a week yeah. with it with the abandonment. This today, were you happy with him the moment you saw him? I couldn't be happier with him. And Paddy, who rides him every day, said he's at his best at the moment. Um, we were just all gutted that we couldn't get to Cheltenham because um, that turned it out into to be a sort of almost weak race and uh, could have been for the taking. But um, I'm glad we turned up here full field and uh, we haven't missed anyone. And uh, he showed what a true classy animal he is. His jumping was great. I mean, I, I think he, maybe he missed one, but he had to be so brave at the last, didn't he? He did, yeah. I mean, the last was probably his worst jump. But um, apart from that, he was uh, foot perfect. And there was a point in the running where I was just thinking he just seemed to be edging a little bit left. And I was thinking, oh, what, are you going to say it? But then he came roaring back. That determination was fantastic to see. Exactly. I gave him a little flick and there was plenty there. So uh, I was happy with that. And how about some thoughts for Aidan Coleman, of course, because he was an integral part to the building of this horse in his early career. And he's announced his retirement this month. Oh, exactly. I I just mentioned him on ITV. Um, yeah, Aiden would have been riding him if he wasn't hurt. And uh, look, we all loved Aiden in the weighing room, and uh, we still do. You know, he's he's still only sort of 35, so uh, <laughs> he's got so much ahead of him, and uh, he's got a lot to offer everyone. But um, he played a big part in John Bon and um, many of our horses at Seven Barrows, so uh, we owe Aiden a lot. And for you personally, on this horse particularly, what does it mean to you? It's not just this horse, it's the whole stable. I'm fully involved with Seven Barrows and it's just great to, to get two great ones for them this week. Okay. Many congratulations, well done. Right. Thank you very much, thank thanks Lydia. Yes, we were on the right side of the argument there, but that, that was a great race. Mm. Um, proper, proper, you know, they're, they're the best horses at that distance probably. So it, it, he had to dig very deep. Um, he was very brave. Mm -hmm. Nico was very, very good on him there. I mean, he, he's, that's the best I've seen him jump, to be honest with you. And he got into a wonderful rhythm, which is what he needs to do. The trip we were never frightened about, to be honest. I, I, I know it's further than he's ever been, but that didn't worry. Probably as far as he wants, but no, he certainly got it. And no, just a great race. Proper good horses having a right good really good battle and good to watch there was no hiding place at all out there was there? no i mean and, and they went a good gallop mm. the whole way i mean i thought we probably could even be you know we were expecting possibly to be a bit closer to it but it was it was honest the whole way and i saw you clap nico in the back now i know obviously he's a fundamental part of your team but you obviously clearly appreciated the ride that you had given yeah that was proper horsemanship and jockey ship and anything you want you know he knows the horse backwards and it's rather like the team at home this isn't he's he's i think we all love him because he's a different sort of character to most he has his own way of living he has to have 
the same thing every day and you know the boy Robin looks after him here but Paddy who rides him every day is an integral part of it because he really does ride him all day. Nico gets on him for about 30 seconds, <laughs> jumps five fences and Nico get off now, <laughs> put Paddy on him because that's what the horse wants. He just, he, they, they know each other very well, we just let them get on with it. And we um, should spare a thought for Aidan Coleman of course as well because yes, he's been he a formative well, I mean, part. He, yes, I couldn't agree with you more and you know Aidan was a vital part of his early career and they were really good together and um, you know it's very sad that he has had to draw stumps there because you know he, 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 he was a great jockey and you know everybody admired what he you know wonderful career but sadly you know it's horrible when they have to retire under those terms and it, it must be tough on Aidan and I know everybody would wish him the very, very best and have a Absolutely. great retirement. Yeah, here, here. And finally for John Bond, this opens up a new horizon of campaigning for you, doesn't it, next season? Well, I think it does bring the two and a halves well into play. I mean, Ascot's an obvious one. And whether it's, you know, let's try and get to Cheltenham next year, I don't mind. But we want to go somewhere on the way. I tried to get Nico to say he'd stay three miles when he got off, but he was pretty reluctant to do that, but we'll see. We've got a long summer to think about yeah, it. He mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> but the, finally, it must be very satisfying for you, because obviously the last time we saw John Bond was in the Clarence House. It was one of his rare lesser performances. You got him in a holding pattern, hadn't you, for a week because the race had been abandoned at Ascot. So it must be satisfying to see him back on song and beating a field that deep. Well, it was after, you know, you can appreciate after the Cheltenham, we had to live through, but that's what happens in racing. We had to suffer, but it's great. They seem to have come back and we can enjoy what the rest of the season's got in store. Very much so. Well, many congratulations. That was, that was great to watch and you were a key part of it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lady. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.